Yeah. Okay. Um, and so tell, tell me your, your full name. It's uh, John Popovich. Um, okay. P O P O V I C H. Okay. And you are the C CEO? I'm uh, CEO and uh, president of Henry Ford Hospital and also the system chief medical officer of the health system. Okay. And tell me a little bit about this whole exhibit and, and what, it, what it means to you. Uh, I've spent my, the entirety of my career at Henry Ford, so uh -huh. I came, uh, actually came as a third year medical student in 1973, oh, wow. not expecting to stay at Henry Ford, uh -huh. uh, but came down from Ann Arbor uh, for that. Uh, but did my internship and residency and uh, really never never left since oh, really? 1975. So to me, it's um, it, it just is remarkable to see the stories that uh, tell what the values of this health system have been and what the hospital has represented to this community. It's, uh, I see uh, so many of the stories that had inspired me when I was young and continue to inspire me today. And, and what, what are the things that are you're most impressed seeing it from all the, the decades you've been with the uh, organization? Well, one, one is that the, the, the absolutely unwavering commitment to the values that the organization has had. We, you know, we were, we were founded on uh, a group practice and an academic uh, background, uh, very similar to Mayo Clinic or the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, many of our initial physicians were from Johns Hopkins. So that commitment to teamwork, uh, research, education, a learning environment uh, has been unwavering over the course of those hundred years. The commitment to community and uh, really to patient care is our primary reason for existence uh, is really also the, the great story. And so everything that is demonstrated here, whether or not it's the community activities that we've done in wellness or it's the use of robotic or catheter-based technologies to treat heart disease, all of those have really been part of that, that value, is really to try to create a new approaches to deal with patients' problems and get them get them healthy. And, uh, hospitals have done a lot of expansions in, in the last, uh, whatever, 20, 20 years or whatever. Is, is that... Uh, is that affected in, in, in any negative way, just, just the, the mass expansion of, of the hospital? Or? No, I think that the, many of the predecessors uh, running Henry Ford uh, in the past, Stan Nelson being one, had the foresight to really uh, ensure that there were ambulatory outposts so like the Fairlane uh, Clinic or Sterling Heights or West Bloomfield for us to actually have clinics so with, uh, within geographic southeastern Michigan. Uh, that was an important uh, and first step of having satellite uh, clinics. Uh, but I think that the most important uh, part is the transition from a hospital to a health system that has occurred in the last several, several decades is, is an important one is that Henry Ford Hospital continues to serve its role here, serving the community within the city of Detroit, but also being a referral center of very complex tertiary and quaternary care problems like liver transplantation or very complex care patients who can't be cared for in other hospitals. And yet other hospitals are within our system that can provide community-based services as we have in our regional hospitals. We also have pharmacy services and dialysis and we have a health alliance plan insurer. So that development of this integrated health system, which Henry Ford Health System truly is the model for uh, throughout the country, I think is, uh, is one of the really tremendous transformations. But it has not taken away, again, from the fundamental values that Henry Ford Hospital has always represented. Okay. And I think me, that, that continues. Let me ask you, if, uh, the future of medicine, if you, uh, what, what amazes you most about what Henry Ford offers? If there was one particular area that kind of blows you away thinking about it as a, as a doctor and... Well, I, I think that um, it, it's in several areas, but the, the ability to do things with less invasiveness than in the past uh, is still so remarkable. So when you have an aortic aneurysm, in which took a major surgical procedure to, to take place, and a patient who might have been in the hospital for 10 or 14 days, complicated from large surgical uh, surgical uh, uh, incisions in their abdomen or their, or their thorax. Today, we can place through a catheter a, uh, a sleeve that prevents that big operation from having to take place. The ability to replace an aortic valve rather than doing this by a surgical procedure, but doing it by a catheter and doing it in patients who 
we, we've not been able to provide that care for in the past, that is remarkable as well. So the transformation is really taking patients and being able to get them healthy or get their problems fixed without having the intrusiveness of so many of the, the approaches that we've taken. The other thing that really I think is that we're on the cusp of is really just orientation toward keeping patients well. And you know, healthcare systems have to transform themselves from taking care of the sick to keeping the patients healthy. Right. And so that's an important uh, transition that Henry Ford Health System is really on the on the forefront. Uh, we still will require hospitals. Uh, you're going to have fractures that require hospitalization. You're going to get trauma and the like, or a big problem complicating uh, type of uh, surgeries and medical illnesses. But our, our real role is to keep patients out of those hospitals right. and really to keep them healthy. That, I think, is the...